Hey, what's going on YouTube fam? Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, typically this channel is uh, reserved for my shoe review, shoe customization, or anything to do with Jordans. Um, but today I have before you uh, two tennis rackets. Uh, they're both the same. Uh, they're the Pro Wilson Pro Staff 97. Uh, the one on the left is the, in the original color, uh, which has the red uh, head um, and then the the one on the right was when I uh, customized uh, yesterday um, I'm a fan of uh, Roger Federer so that's why I got the Wilson um, uh, Pro Staff 97 uh, and the rackets are really nice I I'm not here today to do a review of the actual performance of the racket but just really letting you guys know for any tennis fans out there that you can customize your racket uh, and have it all black and the reason why I did all black was because uh, recently uh, the new Wilson uh, Pro Staff 97 was released uh, with the uh, the uh, Wilson 97 RF, which is all black. Um, and he wanted to kind of make it more of like a tuxedo look, which has black and white. And he uses typically he uses a white um, a grip, so he kind of gives you that tuxedo look. Um, and so I was thinking, well, you know, since I have two of these rackets and I got a got them on a pretty good deal, that Let's see if I can customize this, just make it all black. And, you know, I kept some of the uh, old original uh, 97 um, uh, flavor, if you will, to it. Uh, for example, the 97 here, I just kept it uh, red here just so that it kind of pops. Uh, when you look at the racket, you can see that there's that 97 there. And also the Wilson on the side of the racket, I kept that as well. And I just kind of paint around it. Um, I used masking tape uh, to tape up anywhere that I didn't want paint on there, so, um, but that was quite tedious. But anyways, um, I used um, the Krylon Indoor Outdoor Flat Black Paint, um, which um, I put in about three or four layers of it. And then in each coat, I let it sit for about 10 minutes to let it dry. Um, and so... And I took it out and then once I was done, um, I let it dry for about two hours. And then um, after that, I took it out to the courts and I played for about two hours as well. And I think the results came out pretty nicely. Like the um, the paint did not crack at all on the on the racket itself on the frame. Um, and uh, when I was painting this, I wasn't... Um, intending to paint the strings but because it was just going to take too much time for me to actually uh mask the strings i decided yeah it was, it was okay just to paint it over it knowing that these are not the best strings so that i can um i can just paint on there and then not taking the time to mask it because that was it took a long time to mask the racket um to tape it up and so um and now when i was playing with it you know the paint just started to come off so i figured you know i'm gonna change these strings anyway so i might as well just save my time to to mask the strings and just paint over it and it didn't really affect my game because you know these, these strings are not the best anyway so um but uh but yeah after two hours of playing there's no chips on the on the frame so the paint actually stayed on pretty well and i was really pleased with it um now um in terms of the weight of the racket um uh, before the paint job um the one on the right um, was a little bit lighter because of the strings. As you can see, this one has a different string on there. This one has the, um, I forgot what they were, but you can see there's the blue blue strings that, that goes across and then you have the black string that's going up and down uh, versus this one is just, um, just, these are just regular white strings. So I think the strings itself are different in terms of the weight um, that, uh, the racket on the right before the paint job was a little bit lighter and then uh, I would say maybe like point um, maybe point five to point six ounces uh, lighter um, and then after the paint uh, that I applied on there both string both rackets are at 12.3 ounces so it does make a difference when you add layers of paint so just be mindful if you are to customize your racket because it will add to the weight. Um, if you're thinking about customizing uh, your racket into a lighter color, for example, um, then I would suggest you you would put on a, a layer of primer 
so that you don't have to put so many layers of paint itself. I think if you put on a layer of primer, you can probably get away with maybe, you know, just like two or three coats of the paint. And if you were to make this a white, completely white color racket, um, I think maybe two or three coats of white with primer on there, um, then I think it, it will be nice. Versus if you don't put any primer, you just go ahead and spray paint the, the racket with white paint. I think it's gonna take you maybe five or six layers and that's gonna add more weight to your racket, so just be mindful of that. Um, so when I made it darker, I didn't have to add any primer on there. I just went straight, uh, spread paint on there, uh, three or four coats and you know turned out pretty well and the weight was actually exactly the same. So now, um, so yeah, just be mindful if that's the case. So if you wanna do that. So, but yeah, this, this video is really to let those tennis fans out there to know that you can customize your 97 Wilson if you want to. Um, and again, the paint that I used was the Krylon one. Um, and again, the reason was because, you know, the new racket that, that, that came out for the, for the Roger Federer 97 RF, it was all black. And so I figured, no, oh, I think the black would be a nice look. So I just decided to customize it and I think, um, it turned out pretty well. So if you were to do that, it can be done. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, but yeah, today's video was a little bit unique, um, as, uh, wanted to let you know that my two favorite sports are you know basketball and tennis and so i wanted to kind of reach out to my uh tennis people out there as well to let them know that if you want to customize your racket you can do it um so um yeah so hope you enjoyed this video let me know and uh you know put that thumbs up and uh, comment subscribe and let me know if you have any thoughts on um on the the uh, uh your impression of the rackets that i customize all right, take care and have a good one. Peace.